Today, the number one Gibraltar is answering your most important question. All right, first question here is from Wrath. He's going to ask, as a Gibby main myself, still learning him, what do you feel is the biggest difficulty running solo? Realistically, as a solo, a lot of my randoms just don't understand that like I'm vulnerable to getting swarmed by all three enemies. If you see your Gibby getting pushed by all three guys, you got to go help him. Now, the person that asked this question said they're the Gibby main. If it's at all possible, you got to just stay next to the random and hope that they come to your aid because if you at any point are like all right i'm big i'm fortified i got this let me just go uh challenge the squad real quick if they see that you're alone you're gonna get swarmed and just eaten so i'd say my best advice is stay closer to your teammates even if they're a little slower than you or even if they're a little faster than you, you just stay next to them even closer let's say you have no teammates what is the solo 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 okay. solo when you're solo solo as a gibby you can't really handle bubble dancing against three people all focusing you the only way that i ever met pull it off is if i just commit everything i have like maybe all my shields i don't know i commit everything i have both of my magazines and both guns to just knocking one of them if you can get the first knock that the bubble should give you enough time to pop a battery safely. I rely on my aim assist to carry me from there. But if you don't knock that first person, all three of them are going to swarm you and shoot you from different angles. And you can't bubble dance if they're shooting you no matter where you are. You can win a bubble fight against two people. That's what the bubble's for. If there's a third, you got to get them out of there right away. Some people, when they're bubble fighting, they'll shoot this guy for 99. They'll shoot the next guy for 99. They'll shoot the next guy for 99. I would prefer just only shooting one guy until he's dead and uh, working my best with my movement to not get hit by the other two while I'm focusing him. I right, got a question from from black hearts do you ever feel outmatched by the movement legends they want to main gibby but to them it feels incredibly slow i hear that all the time i hear i used to main gibby but he's boring or i can't play gibby for too long because he's boring because he has no movement i've never had that problem i have never thought that i wanted more movement so maybe gibby is just not the main for you i'm not trying to scare you away from playing gibby but i've never had that feeling when it comes to being outmatched as like if they're my opponent mm -hmm. yeah there there are certain movement legends that really get up in my face quickly and kind of fluster me a little bit that might not be the right word but they move so fast that i can't even react in time and it happens you just gotta be prepared for it and have your cursor on the center of your screen before they're sliding in or grappling in or horizon passiving in front of you you gotta be ready for it uh, i got a question from clean energy is it better to run a sniper slash marksman and take advantage of the extra health with the gun shield for poking or shoddy up close for bubble fights or both yeah i can definitely see the logic behind both the correct answer is to play to your strengths if you're good at sniping then that's your role and if you're not the best at sniping maybe you miss a lot or you're not feeling too confident just pick up an assault rifle and then use that shotgun strength that you might have if you're good with smgs switch to that just i play to my strengths which are smgs and uh ars i, I don't even use snipers or shotguns that much but yeah just play to your strengths all right we got a question from the jump master what gun were you using when you first said i beamed him <laughs> that would be the r99 and volt combo because okay. uh, I got it from Jen Burton. Jen Burton is Australian, and I did my best Australian accent because he used to use the R99 Bolt every game that I watched. His sight wouldn't even move. So I tried it one game, and I was like, I banged him. <laughs> and uh, kind of stuck. All right, 529 asks, ask about Gibby's spot in the previous and current meta. I don't know what they mean by previous, but what do you think about the current meta? Let's start with that. They might mean comp meta, and I can't really talk about that because yeah. I don't play comp. I'll, I'll just give kind of a more general answer. In the current meta, Gibby is the king of like 1v1ing. He has more health than everybody and the arm shield on top of it. As long as you're hitting every shot on each other, Gibby will come out on top every time. And I've said that a lot in the past. That's his strong suit right there. The bubble is great for blocking people so you can bubble fight, saving your teammate, resing them. It's great for a lot of things, but I feel like uh, to bring it back to the previous meta, people were using the bubble as a get out of jail free card. If anything was going wrong and they're panicking, they're just like, okay, let's bubble. And then they'd sit there for 18 or maybe 12 seconds, depending on the season. And I feel like as people learn how to play the game more and more and more counters came out for Gibby, like Crypto EMP breaking the bubble and Maggie Ball breaking the bubble and Revenant silencing him and ruining him. Uh, people just started realizing that Gibby is really good at 1v1ing and in my humble pub stomping opinion He might not be the best for every pro team out there because um, they could definitely evolve a different character to be a higher skill ceiling Gibby was like a quick easy pick 
in the comp scene and even the ranked scene too. All right, we got a question from Ramonski. Is he still using 3-3 up to this day? I have used 3-3 since day one, since February 8th, 2019. I've never changed it. I did change my dead zone to none and I feel like my aim improved a lot. But aside from FOV, everything else is default. Okay, yeah. None helps you be a little more, a little quicker. For me, I learned it when I was doing the scout of action. I really struggled to like micro adjust my aim to hit the targets in the back. And I was like, let's try none dead zone. Uh, my friend Madbro recommended it to me and I was like, okay, okay, sure. Don't tell me what to do, but let's try it out. And I just, I started hitting them all. I was like, oh, you can actually just micro adjust if you play on none dead zone. And I feel like my long range aim has just increased like maybe three times as good as it used to be. Damn. I stopped letting aim assist hit every shot for me. I started controlling recoil on guns and I feel like I'm a lot better player. Nice. There you go. We got a question from Sullivan. He says, what makes you still use more low end equipment and pretty much de <laughs> there's a lot of spelling errors in this defaulty <laughs> binds instead of smothering <laughs> more high-end optimized tell me oh. if you understand <laughs> yeah 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 i'm assuming that person knows my setup like in game okay how i play on all default settings and they're like why don't you play with a different button layout so you can do more movement techniques maybe that's what they mean i i'm a really big believer in playing to my strengths and I feel like I'm kind of a more patient, kind of like watch one angle kind of gamer. Pressing a lot of buttons at once, not my strong suit. So when somebody is turning a corner, I'm just, I'm there aiming at them ready for them. I'm not trying to be the guy wall bouncing into the into their sights around the corner and crouch spamming. I'm more of a, I let them come to me kind of guy. So the default settings work perfectly for that. I've never thought about changing up so I could do more movement techniques. All right, we got a question from Conspiracy Cinema. Your name is Chet You Betcha. Why is Old Fairly Odd Parents one of the best cartoons or one of the greatest cartoons of the 2000s? If you want to be philosophical with it, probably because we grew up and we were Timmy Turner and we all wanted our lives to change and we wanted those wishes to come true. If you want to be more silly with it, Cosmo was really funny. The voice actor for Cosmo is great. The dude had talking fish that helped him in his life. It was pretty sick. It's like that uh, when Freddie Prince Jr. said what he liked about Scooby-Doo was, it's a talking dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my best I got. Okay, I like it. I like it. All right, You Killed Kenny asked, why do you think Respawn, first of all, won't give Gibby the swimsuit skin that he deserves? Well, if they gave him the swimsuit skin, we all know that the meta would shift so much that they'd have to take Gibby out of the game because everybody would be playing him. <laughs> You're right. You're right. All right. He's got a he's got another question for you. Okay. With Maggie being meta, now is Gibby harder to use in high level play? I would say only accidentally. If I see a mad Maggie and she shoots her little riot drill at me, I just don't bubble until she's knocked. And then I bubble and thirst her and take her armor and kill the rest of her teammates. I'm not trying to sound cocky, but if you see a crypto or a mad Maggie, somebody that can like break your bubble, you just knock them first and then bubble. Uh, I don't know, man. That's what I do and it works for me. All right. Focus them out first and then when they're down then you can use your bubble right it's it's just like a checkpoint like don't bubble yet because they're gonna break it okay now i can bubble so if you got teammates are you calling that out are you calling out that they got a crypto or a maggie and asking them to focus on that one player i don't know i'm not really good at communicating uh in mid fight i kind of just take in all the information i don't really say much okay if my teammates say they have a maggie that's great you definitely tell me but i am probably as the gibby i'm not going to be like they have a maggie let's knock her and then i'll bubble i just could do that internally okay all right geo asks why is gibby not as picked as he was before i mean they didn't really do any nerfs to him so he's kind of confused Ooh, they didn't do any nerfs that's what he says no nah, they nerfed him a few times i think it's like nine nerfs in a row without a buff when was his last one his last this one is probably fortified characters take normal headshot damage. I don't know if I know them all off memory, but like since season, I don't know, five, he's just been getting nerfed steadily. So you think it's more that other characters are being buffed more. So that's why he's just kind of falling to the wayside. I think it really comes down to uh, when people are playing with their friends, they want to be faster and be able to keep up with their teammates. So that maybe they'll play a movement character when they're playing ranked. They want to be able to get out of fights. They don't want to be stuck in one spot. And Gibby is really good at being stuck in one spot and not dying, but they probably just want to be like, OK, let's rotate out. So a lot of the, the good ranked players, the high ranked players won't play Gibby for that reason. When it comes to pubs, maybe they don't want to solo queue as Gibby because he's really easy to 3v1 and just be like, okay, push the Gibby. He bubbled. Let's all just get in there and kill him. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to not play him. He might be the hardest legend to kill in a 1v1. So he might seem OP, but if you're solo queuing, not that easy. There's a certain mindset you need to have to really like optimize Gibby's uh, skill set. And most of that, like, you know, 
know, optimization is three stacking or duo stacking. And a lot of like streamers don't think that's impressive. So maybe you're not gonna see a lot of streamers playing Gibby, not a lot of influence on Gibby mains. That might be a big reason. Okay, we got a question from Rizzler. If Gibby was never released as a legend, who would you have mained? Believe it or not, I got 69, 69 kills on Octane in season one. And I only ever switched to Gibby because he got buffed in season two. I might have been staying on Octane or maybe a Caustic main because I play Caustic a lot and that guy is good. If Gibby never got buffed in season two, I would have never played him. So Octane or Caustic. Watch out, Giggle. There's going <laughs> to be a fight till the death here. <laughs> All right, got a question from Grizz. Is it Gibby or Jibby? That is a very good question. I think we all know that it's supposed to be Jibby. His name's Gibraltar, mm -hmm. it's, so it's Jibby. However, Gibby is a male first name, like for Gibson or whatever. So like, it's normal to call a guy Gibby, like from iCarly. Yep, it, that's all I think of. It's normal to call a, a guy Gibby. There's nobody in the world named Jibby. Well, okay. There's nobody in America <laughs> named Jibby that I know. That's the disparity there. Like what makes sense versus what would actually happen. So what do you say? What do you ever say Jibby? I always say Gibby. It okay. just rolls off the tongue. All right, James says, how do you deal with being so slow and enjoying it? I fully embrace it i love the slow nature i'm not a slow thinker my brain works just fine but everything when it comes to playing uh shooters i grew up playing search and destroy in call of duty so running forward to the middle of the map and then 50 50 and maybe dying you'd have to spectate your teammates forever so i was always the guy that was last alive i was the one like i'll just i'll just lay back you can call me a camper if you want but i grew up thinking slower is better and it kind of developed my skill set in that way so for me i loot fast but in a fight i approach things really slowly cautiously patiently and if my teammates run in there and die without me then that's on them i will almost always wait for my teammates because i know like it's a numbers game kind of thing so if i'm ahead of my teammates i'll just wait i have no problem waiting for them okay we got a question from backpack who must watch you on the regular is ask chet the real reason he doesn't like horizon the real reason i don't like horizon is i'm very comfortable <laughs> in this game if a pathfinder is aiming down his sights and strafing i know what to expect if a wraith is wall bouncing there's only so much distance she can cover if a lifeline is has a down teammate like i know she's gonna do one of like two or three things i, I know what to expect but a horizon throws a wrench in everything she could be up in the air she could be down she could block a door with her tactical she could be sliding behind me with no audio and she just says there's too much about a, a horizon for me to like process that she's unpredictable and on top of that every other character in the game if i see them then i let the 0.6 aim assist help me a lot and i'm like okay put the sight there hope for the best shoot them and it's you know there, there's i'm gonna hit a lot of shots on them maybe not every shot i'm not the best but i'm gonna hit a lot of shots on them but a horizon can kind of like bob and weave around my aim assist i feel my aim that i'm I, i'm pretty proud of my aim like i feel like i'm good at aiming it's just not there when it comes to shooting horizons because she's so nimble i think she, she like gets around that kind of stickiness of the aim assist that i'm so used to it's the to, to summarize it my settings make it very hard to kill the horizon okay understandable understandable for sure kark magus asked why use gibby over newcastle i'm guessing he's saying why should other people use gibby over newcastle because you've been obviously a gibby main since the beginning when it comes to playing newcastle he has a lot of strengths over gibby like he can res people easier he has mobility in his ultimate the shield that he puts up moves so you can push up a hill at a team that's camping high ground on you and that's great he has a lot of strengths it's pretty hard to say that gibby's better than him at any of those things that i just said but Gibby really really pops off when he needs to put a guy down if you have like somebody ratting or a solo that's out there you can take that 1v1 every time you're not gonna lose it as Gibby you can kind of just play cut more confidently you don't need to uh throw your shield down ultimate to your teammate to get out you just you know you're gonna win the 1v1 and for me that means a lot more that's why I like Gibby more and you just got to realize that each character has their own strength and play to them and don't try to compare them like that all right we got a question from Daniel why do you dislike shotguns when it comes to shotguns versus SMGs for my close range, SMGs, if my opponent backs up a little bit or maybe they have a little bit of cover, I can still hit them very, very hard. But with a shotgun, you might be hitting them for nine while they 
can just fry you with you know our 301 or a flat line because they get to pick the distance that they shoot you at they're not forced to run up on you and if i'm playing passively and they're playing passively then a shotgun is not going to do me any good because i'm not close enough and they might have cover so if i play passively and they play aggressively then uh the shotgun might be the smarter choice but the smg it works either way it kind of comes down to like a percentage thing x amount of percent of my fights the smg is better and then shotguns are only good in specific scenarios for me to use shotguns i'd have to play more aggressively and rely on my enemies to push me back which is when shotguns pop off and not really into that okay fair enough the last question we got is basically saying from i don't care it says you think gibraltar needs a buff or nerf and if so why where's he falling right now in terms of like s to f tier list i'd say if you're three stacking or duo stacking he is s tier so i would not really think about buffing him maybe giving him a little uh less cooldowns on certain abilities or maybe make his dome shield last longer if you want to buff him like that that's cool he doesn't need any more passive abilities he doesn't need to change he just maybe some a little less on the timers kind of stuff if they did nerf him he's got room to be nerfed because he might be just like a uh, newcastle he can really make a good player better so say you uh put me on a duo team with like one of the best players on console you know whoever that might be i can make them better not because of my skill set but because of gibby's abilities to like protect them in the situation and hold off the third party with this ability and my ultimate to get them like this team off high ground gibby really helps good players pop off that is why they should not buff him Derpy Squid, what is the best way to use Gibby's ultimate? In my stream, people are always saying, bro, use your ultimate. Why don't you use your ultimate? You have your ultimate. And I use my ultimate to knock people off high ground. There's key locations around every map where people love to just sit and let me run uphill at them. And I feel like Gibby's ultimate is perfect for either scaring them off or, I mean, really just breaking their shields and being able to push them while they're weakened. I just save my ultimate for those kind of moments. A really great time to use your ultimate is if there's only two other teams left and they're fighting, just throw your ultimate right in the middle. I love that for ranked, especially like, that is beautiful. That might be uh, obvious to some, but- Free knocks. Free knocks go so crazy with the ultimate. Like the teams don't want to disengage. They just, they stand there and fight to the death. And I mean, the ultimate is going to be the winner no matter what, but- Oh, another great time to use your ultimate is if you see a Gibby fighting another team and they bubble, just throw your ult like halfway through the bubble, you know, just because right when the bubble goes down, they're going to be like, oh, we're safe. And then they all get hit by it. You can push up and shoot them. There's a lot of uh, great times to use your ultimate. And I just save mine for those specific instances. That is all the questions we have got today. And you did a great job answering them. Uh, thank if you, there's thank you. anything else you'd like to add before we conclude. I got plenty of time to talk. I, I don't know what I would say, but I do love helping the people. Well, I think they're going to be very satisfied with what you gave them today. Okay. Keep it at that. Yeah, I don't... Uh, yeah, you're good. I don't really <laughs> have anything like on the top of my head like that I need to spread. Okay. Except those cheeks.